There are two places in the world where I feel the most at peace. On the tops of mountains and at the side of the beach, just as the dawn comes over the horizon. It's just the way it is with me. And it seems my fate to watch the dawn rise wherever we are. In this video, we're at El Torres Beach and we're staying at Camp in El Torres, near to one of our regular stops at Villa Hayosa. After a straight drive through France, two days and 19 miles of walking around Valencia, we're here to pause for a few days. We're ready for a rest. It's a place we know well, and it's our third visit here in 18 months and it never disappoints. The site is a good one, well equipped with a restaurant and bar, good sized pitchers and fully serviced. So big in fact it hosts the largest collection of giants, and I mean motorhome giants, that we've seen on a campsite locally. At 7.5 metres we are minnows. They are incredible vehicles for those who value comfort over mobility. The cranes in this shot give away the construction, but thankfully this wasn't noisy and didn't disturb our stay. We previously stayed at the Alicante Imperium campsite, just up the road, so this is a change for us and a good one as it transpired. The beach area, sadly, whilst being good, doesn't allow dogs, but there is good access to walks in both directions, both to Benidorm and to Villa Iosa for the dog to enjoy. So one of the things we like about this site is that it's really easy to get onto the coastal path. But it is quite a climb up here, as I've just demonstrated with the drone with Helen walking up. So what about this as a location, and H? It's lovely, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a nice little alcove that's just, you sort of protected from everything. It's, it's lovely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get the, just get the, 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 sand, the sea coming in, and it's, uh, I've enjoyed watching the fishermen this morning, putting the nets out, and. Or the, I don't know if they're lobster pots, crab pots, or whatever they are, but that's been interesting to watch. There we go. All right? Yeah. Nothing too bad, just a little bit of, uh, I mean, we, this is all part of our run as well, so we, we come down here a bit faster than that normally, but uh, you just need to watch your feet. Not too bad, is it? No, it's fine. Just uh, take it steady. Yeah. One of the things that we think that Villa House has got in its favour is its location. Mm. That whole coastline from Denia all the way down to Alicante is opened up if you stay here. Mm. Primarily because of the rail links, you can get for a, a very few few euros a rail fare all the way up to, to uh, Benidorm. Change you have to change to get yeah. the train to Denia. Yeah, the tram to the train, yeah, which is really good. There's a 14 minutes turnaround. That's mm. all between the two the two platforms, and you go all the way to Denia and back. So and it's it's you're literally talking about half an hour's train ride combined, and then you can go the other way down to Alicante on the tram all the way there. If you've got a dog, it means you've got to carry him in a basket. That's the only pain, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. But uh, big dogs yeah. aren't allowed on. But otherwise, it can be done. You can also bike from here to um, Benidorm if you want to. While we're on the subject of Benidorm, I know Benidorm is not, not everybody's cup, cup of tea, but some people enjoy it and want to be there. Some people are quite happy to put their toe in the water and come in and out. And for that, you can again get the tram or you can ride there. Uh, but you can't hear Benidorm from here. You can't see it. There's no noise pollution from it. So. If, that's, if you're looking for something quieter, but mm. within close enough proximity mm. that you can nip in and out, it's ideal for that as well. Or indeed, if you just want to experience a, a quaint, coastal, historic, Spanish seaside town, yeah. this is for you. This is a scene that I like. I've taken some good pictures here over the years. We've been coming here for about five years, I think, off and on. And when the clouds are right behind this pathway, particularly if it's like this and the water, perhaps with a few more waves coming over the top, but it's a really good scene for a photo. Loads of seagulls here. I might just see if they can take some pictures with the drone, but uh, we'll see how the seagulls behave. Might do a bit of a foot in the water job and see. I've checked the Daenerys drone map, the Spanish drone flying map. It's uh, okay to fly here. So we'll give it a go. The beach here is utterly beautiful. Golden sands. Could be the Bahamas.
Another reason to come here is to see the brightly painted traditional houses that you can see behind me. This has got to be one of the most vibrant and colourful promenades in Spain. Of course, the good thing here is you can sit here on, on this beach front on this promenade and have a beer and a pizza and just chill out, can't you? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. It's one of my favourite locations to chill on. Mm. I like that contrast between sort of the high octane of Valencia in the city and then come down here for a few days to chill. It's just a little bit more relaxing. Mm. Pace of life has slowed down a little bit, don't you think? Very much so. It's quieter as well than it was. Mm. I think we were in December last time, weren't we? I was trying to work it out, actually. I think we were. Just over a yeah. year ago. Yeah, I think we were. It was busy then. It was yeah. quieter now. Yeah. But nice and quiet. Mm. We're leaving the hustle and bustle of the promenade now and having a walk down the old town, which is an area that Martin particularly likes, especially to photograph. I always think it's really interesting with all the different colours of the buildings as well and all the different... Um, everybody seems to have a different coloured balcony or... How they've done it, um, how they're all different shapes. It's a lovely place to come and have a walk around. We came here maybe 12, 18 months ago and we could hear the muffled sound of a local radio and this wonderful whistling was an old guy whistling the most wonderful song in tune and we came back to look again today and of course it's up for sale. This is Martin in his element, looking for his next shot. But the further you get back off the main street, the quieter it gets. So the traffic noise diminishes. And this is where the real people live, I guess. Not too many tourists, just the odd photographer. Yeah, so as they walked into the light, so that they get the light oh, shining. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you don't catch them at the right moment, they're in the shadow. Yeah. So that's, the, uh, that's the photo there. That's what you want. It's not about identifying the people. The silly people are just figurines in the, in, the, in the scene, if you know what I mean. They're just past the story, aren't yeah. they, really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think this is the, swick, the uh, swankiest uh, street in the, in the town, I think. Yes, I agree with you. I love you. this uh, paved walkway. Mm. It's got some really nice shops and orange trees either side of the road. It's all very well manicured down here. Yeah, it is. Don't you think? I do. Good morning. Good morning. We've got one more day and one more night left here. We're going to start the day with a run. It's our third run here, actually, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. We've got a nice little route, so... You can go out on the coastal path and uh, up the... Uh, it's quite a sizeable hill to get up there, as I mentioned. But then you can run all the way along the coastline and it's quite, uh, it's quite a nice run. So it's a uh, six, seven miles round trip today, so... Should be good. I'm going to take my video camera along and try and capture some of the best bits for you. And then we'll have some nice breakfast. We will. Ready for the hill? Ready to go. There is the hill. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind hills really, but it's a fair way to start, isn't it? It is. It's um, a, little bit of a little bit of a shock to the system straight away, so it is. straight up we go. Straight up we go.
Run. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh. That feel good? Yeah. It does. Reasonable climb? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think that side down there. Do you want to see? Yeah. This is the other site in Villa Hiosa. Um, you've obviously got El Torres, you've got Caliente Imperium, and I think this is called El Parazio or Parizio. We'll put a link down below. And we've not stayed here, but we know someone Trev from Posh Cats Camping have. So if you're interested in this site, check out their vlog that'll show it. But yeah, they said it was good, so that's three good sites in Villa Hiosa. We're 3.2 miles into the run and we're going to turn around now and retrace our steps. And the good news is what goes up must come down. Now behind me is quite a significant historical building. Um, and in a previous vlog, I dealt with the history of this building and the history of Villa Hayosa as well. So if you're interested in that, check out the link below and it'll explain everything to you. No visit to Villa Hayosa would be complete without visiting a chocolate factory. And I mean a chocolate factory because there are more than one. But on this occasion, we went to the Velour Chocolate Factory. There's a free tour in English. And this is a company that's been operating since 1881 and founded locally. The tour starts with a history of chocolate, showing you the chocolate roots and the building of the company, as well as its links back to the cocoa industry, Aztecs, you name it. The full spectrum of the history of chocolate is covered in the tour. It's very comprehensive, very professional, and the artefacts are well worth what looking at. It's really a museum of chocolate, in fairness. The same family owns it, I think fourth or fifth generation, and it's internationally renowned, not just in Spain, and there are lots of different types of, sh of chocolates to choose from. Of course, like all good tours, it ends in the shop where you get to try all the different brands that the company makes and make a purchase of your choice. All in all, a really good hour of your time and something that you shouldn't miss if you're visiting Villa Hayosa. Morning. Good morning. We're all packed up, ready to go. Yes. After a lovely a few days relaxing in Villa Hayosa, although maybe it's not relaxing. been quite. Maybe it's not been quite relaxed. I don't think we really do relaxing. No. We certainly run best part of twenty miles and yeah. probably walk as far. Just as far, yeah. But we've enjoyed yeah. a bit of food, a bit of cuisine in very familiar and settings. Chocolate. And probably, the chocolate. Yeah, and the chocolate. Yeah, and the chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Are yeah. probably our, our favourite uh, beachfront in Spain, yeah. really. Uh, others will probably say we need to try other places and we're open to of that. Of course, yeah. But uh, so far, so good. We always like to start with a bit of familiar, familiar time, particularly after um, three long days driving through France and two very long days in Valencia mm -hmm. walking around. Thanks very much for people on this trip that have come up and said hello. We really, yes, really met, appreciate it. We've met some great people. Thank you, yes. Yeah, it's great to say hello and put names to faces. So thanks for doing that. And uh, it's been brilliant. So we're going to get going. Um, supermarket first. Of course, always a supermarket every few days. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Martin out. Helen out. <laughs>